The Arizona Diamondbacks and Boston Red Sox kick off an interleague series on Friday night. We're here to break it down for you with a lean on a side as well as an official play on a player prop. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I need to let you guys know about a great special that we're running over at Wager Talk and Sports Memo to celebrate our 10th anniversary. I'll let you know more about that towards the end of the video, but for now, hit that like button, subscribe to the Wager Talk channel, and let us know who you got in the comment section, whether it be a side, a total, a player prop. I'll be checking those comments, responding back to you guys throughout the night. So we took a brutal loss last night. Uh, Padres looked like the team that had taken the cross-country flight. Uh, Padres uh, didn't cover. They wouldn't have covered anything. No money line, run line, team total, nothing. Uh, they ended up losing 8-3 to three to the Mets. So we look to move on to today, get back on track. We've got Arizona at Boston, 7-10 p.m. Eastern, first pitch from Fenway. Game will be featured locally on Nesson. Red Sox slightly favored here, negative 130 on the money line. You can get the D-backs at plus 110, total very high, uh, deservingly so considering these two offenses sitting at 10. We've got two righties going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Ryan Nelson for the D-backs, Brian Bayo for the Red Sox. Bayo's 11-5 on the year with a 4.80 ERA, 1.41 on the whip. He's coming off, he's in pretty good form. He's coming off a pretty strong start against a... A pretty good hitting team, obviously, in Baltimore. In Baltimore as well. Six innings pitched. Only one earned run allowed in that one. He's been in solid form recently. 2-7-0 August ERA. However, he Fenway has been like his kryptonite this season as comparison to last year. His ERA is actually a run higher when he pitches at home. On the other side of things, we've got Ryan Nelson. 8-6, 4-3-5 on the ERA. 1.29 on the whip. And he is in... Great form himself, six and a third, uh, only one earned run allowed against Tampa Bay on the road as well in his last start. Uh, he's basically been in really good form since the beginning of July, and he's actually prefers to pitch on the road as he raise a run lower when he over a run lower actually <clears throat> when he pitches on the road. Uh, guys, before we get into the official pick, I need to let you know about that great 10th anniversary deal. We gotta thank the fans. Really appreciate you guys, and we're giving 30% off through the weekend. This deal started yesterday, but it runs through Sunday. 30% off all access passes, daily, weekly, monthly, you name it. It brings a single 2% play all the way down to $9. Use the code 10YEAR10YEAR, not the letters 10, the numbers 10YEAR, and I'm in action tonight in the MLB as well as the WNBA. And as always, there'll be a link to my sports memo page in the pinned comment. Uh, so we don't really need to get too much into the bullpens here, guys, because uh, we're really going to be looking at a player prop, although I don't trust my Red Sox bullpen as far as I can throw them. And that's what would have me leaning towards Arizona here. They think the value definitely lies with them based on that you can get plus money with them. And I would look towards potentially, I think both starters do have success in this game early on. But I think we could see, that's why I don't know what to do with the total exactly, because I think we could see both teams get to the bullpens, especially the Red Sox, slight lean towards the Arizona team total over four and a half. But we're going to be looking at Ryan Nelson here. Over four and a half strikeouts, it's a low number. He's had six plus in each of his last four games. He's cleared this number with five plus in seven of his last eight. Like we said, he's been in great form since the beginning of July. He is a 273. ERA and he's actually averaged a strikeout per inning since the beginning of July so he's in great form strikeout wise as well Red Sox they've been a bottom 10 strikeout team all season long and if you look against right-handed pitching however you add it up the Red Sox have been a big strikeout struck out a lot and over the last 15 days they have a 27 percent strikeout rate eight of the last 10 right-handed pitchers to face the Red Sox have recorded at least five strikeouts that includes even Corbin Burns, when not to say that he's not a good pitcher, but when, when Burns got lit up by the Red Sox, I mean, they smashed him, and he still struck out seven in that game. So there's, there's the option for Nelson to even get beat up a little bit and strike out five here. Um, Red Sox are a projected lineup. They're going to stack up left-handed bats against a right-handed pitcher. They're going to have six or seven lefties stacked up in this lineup, but it almost favors Nelson. He has a 
236 uh, OBA against lefties compared to a 306 OBA against right-handed hitters. So this lines up really nicely for Nelson to have another high strikeout game. Uh, you know, he's, he's cleared this total, like I said, last four games. He's had six plus. We only need five here. I really like this play a lot. It's actually an official play for me. So official play for the video, let's go Ryan Nelson over four and a half strikeouts. Guys, like I said, my uh, sports memo page will be linked in the pinned comment. I always have free plays posted on X at Steve's Book 22 as well as at sportsmemo.com. If you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button on the way out. Good luck tonight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're doing Mets Padres again. Get it right this time. Good luck, guys.